I'm Shannon Watson. I'm the Director of Public Affairs for the St. Paul Area Chamber, and we're talking about legislative translations, which are the things about the Minnesota legislature that can be confusing to outsiders. So today we're talking about conference committees and what is a conference committee. Minnesota has a bicameral legislature, so to get anything passed into law, you have to pass it through the House, you have to pass it through the Senate, and then an identical version of the bill has to go to the governor for signature. So, it, for instance, let's say the House and the Senate are talking about how much to spend on snacks. The House bill goes through the committee and they decide that they want to spend $10,000 on snacks. And that passes through the body. Yay! They send yes. Now the Senate, being more conservative, let's say they only want to spend $5,000 on snacks. And they only want to spend money on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And this passes the Senate. Yay! So you have two bills that are supposedly, like, they're basically the same thing, but they're not exactly the same thing. And to go to the governor, they need to be exactly the same thing. So what happens is you put together a conference committee. Conference committee has members from the House, it has members from the Senate, and it takes the differences between the two bills and it works out a compromise. So let's say in this instance, the House caves on the, on the, the price. So let's say they agree to only spend $5,000 on snacks, but the Senate gives up, they give a concession, they give up what days of the weeks so you can, you can spend money on snacks Monday through Friday. This bill then again has to pass through the House, yes, and has to pass through the Senate, yes, and then it can go to the governor for signature. 